everyone welcome back to my channel today's gonna be a Valentine's Day glam kind of get ready with me so we are gonna go and dive right on into it we have a lot of like pink like Valentine's Day themed makeup and I'm so excited so if you're new here hi my name is Anna I upload videos five days a week Monday through Friday and I would love to have you come join my channel and let's go ahead and get started I'm just gonna put my hair kind of like just like my bangs back my my beloved coconut honey candle from Target, it's the Threshold brand, is dying. So the woodwick is a little louder than normal is what I'm noticing. So if you hear that, that's why. You guys, I film my videos for the week like out of order. So I have yet to film my ColourPop Valentine's Day review, but I'm so excited. It is going to be so fun. I'm doing that tomorrow, but we're going to start off with primer i realize i should probably zoom up a little bit look at this little hair like just sticking out eh, whatever uh we're, so i want to use the jacqueline i did this uh, i did a video on this last week it's the jacqueline skin perfecting blurring tint they said you can use this under makeup but does that mean you have to use primer with it i'm gonna use primer with it because i have no idea if i'm doing it wrong please do not come for me but i'm gonna use my nyx the marshmallow primer I'm just gonna get a little bit of that. This primer is like just about done and I absolutely love this. It feels so nice on the skin. And I saw, I was browsing the Ulta website, which I do way more than I ever should. Um, I saw that their new plumping primer, they have a mini size of it. So instead of spending $17 on the full size, I think I'm gonna like go for like the mini and we'll just kind of try it out. So yeah, I did a full day wear test. I think I tested it for like nine hours or something. And I'm not gonna lie, I did not mind it one bit. I thought it was pretty darn good, um, but I am, I hope, I feel like that's too much. Doing this with foundation makes me really nervous. So I'm just gonna use the, like, the viewfinder as my, oh God. I don't know, I see people do it like this, like in their videos and stuff, and I'm like, okay, I should do that too, but then when every time I try it, I'm like, ah, what am I doing? I should get like a wipe or something so that I can like clean this up, but oh my god. <laughs> I think I have a box of tissues here. I don't know how people just like apply foundation like this. Like I've seen people do that before with their, their like, like actual like, foundation i do not get it but i've heard people say like um i've watched people that have said i really like using this under my makeup so i'm like okay is this a primer i don't know i look really bad this has like no coverage to it you know it's just a skin tint but I'm gonna test it with one of my like OG foundations that I absolutely love. And it's the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. This is something that I have been loving for years. And um, I thought, you know what, why? I thought, you know what, it is best to test this out with just my OG foundation. So I am just going to pat this on my skin, blend it out, covering it up. And you guys, I have such exciting news in regards to like my work life. Um, so if you guys don't know, I have a degree in human resources. I just graduated in May with it. And you know, I think for the first time I have found something that I truly love when it comes to work. You know, I was going through that phase where like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. I thought I was gonna be a teacher for a long time. I realized that just wasn't for me. Um, you know, I went through different phases in life where I thought I was going to be different things. And HR just really, I don't know, just stood out to me. So I graduated with my two-year degree, which is an associate's. And I was working as kind of like, um, I was working for an organization, well, I, the organization I work for now. Um, I started there in November. I was doing administrative stuff, but I was doing a ton of HR stuff. So... 90% of my day was like human resources. You could deem me easily as a, a human resources assistant. I am now the HR coordinator. It baffles me. You know, I'm 24 years old. I 
got a job in my field six months after graduation, which is like what my school kind of, uh, you know, was estimating that I would. You know, like 94% of human resources grads get a degree in their field within six months, get a job in their field within six months. So I, you know, I did that. While I'm talking here, whew, <laughs> while I'm talking here, I'm gonna go in with some powder. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. Some of my favorite. Honestly, in terms of my skin, not noticing a whole lot of difference. You know, it's a lot more pay. It's a lot more responsibilities. And this wasn't a job that I thought I was gonna get. You know, this is like a supervisory type position. And I thought in my head, I thought I wasn't going to get something like this until I was like 30. You know, if I had more experience under my belt, but I have the most amazing bosses. You have great bosses. I have better ones. And <laughs> I love coming to work every day, like going to work every day. I have never felt this much of a job in my entire life. I love going to my job. And I loved it before when I was just an assistant. I absolutely loved it. And I just thought, wow, you know, this is a position that first off is so me, is something that I've, you know, wanted. And on top of that, my bosses basically took a chance on me and were like, go for it, girlfriend. <laughs> and um, I just finished my first week of it and I love it. It's a lot, um, you know, it is a coordinating position, you know, but I just am so happy. I'm just so thankful, like that more than anything, like take a quick break from talking about um, my work <laughs> and we're gonna go into the physician's formula, Matt Manoy Bronzer. But anyways, um, a lot of the times, I mean, we're kind of seeing this now in terms of like the hiring and like the crisis and stuff, everybody wants experience. Everybody wants, you know, the X amount of time in experience. Everybody wants this. You know what? <laughs> like for like entry level positions, you know, before I worked at this job, you know, I was looking at HR assistant positions, like just something to kind of get my foot in the door, you know, really immerse me in human resources. Cause the job I was working, um, the medical field, I was not using my degree at all. I was like, I just want to get my foot in the door. I need a career change. I wasn't happy there. And um, I was like, okay, great. So everybody was like, three years of experience. And it's like, so tell me this, how am I going to get three years of experience? Nobody gives me a chance. You know, and that was, that's one of those things. I, I know so many people who struggle with that, you know, especially people who I went to school with who were in my program who are like, you know, I'm applying for jobs. Like when I was in my capstone course, especially people are like, you know, I don't understand people want me to have experience and I can't get a job anywhere. You know, I have the knowledge. I just want the experience. I've been there. And I just think it, I'm just so lucky because I don't think a lot of people who are in my position, you know, just graduated college nine months ago are getting a coordinator position. And I just think that is so amazing that my bosses are like, you know what, let's do it. And I'm ecstatic. We're gonna go in with some like pinky peachy blush, perfect for Valentine's Day. We're gonna use the ColourPop Animal Crossing blush in the shade Flower Tender. This is one of my all time favorites. So yeah, I just wanted to say that because you know, I think it's one of those things, look for a job that's going to make you happy. And I was working jobs that really weren't making me happy. You know, they were paying the bills and that was just what I had to do at the time. Um, I was working full time and going to school full time. That's really hard. And I just, I just needed something that was going to pay the bills. That's all I wanted. And you know what? I came to the point where I was like, no, I don't want to just pay the bills. I want to go to work and like, want to go to work in the morning. You know, I want to wake up and be like, cool, I'm gonna go to work today. I found that with this job and I feel like I look like a chicken hawk right now with like these, <laughs> my hair everywhere, but. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go into the Ofra highlighter in the shade Pillow Talk and I thought pink highlighter, Valentine's Day, we are all about it. So anyways, um, you know, look for something that's gonna make you happy. You know, I have been in situations where, you know, your management is just not supportive of you. I've been there. Like I've had experiences like that where, you know, I, I 
one of my philosophies, it, you know, I went, you know, human resources management, right? I took a lot of management courses. You, if you're a manager out there or a boss of somebody, you know, there is a huge difference between a boss and a leader. And I think that that is so crucial because you are kind of the face of that work environment. That is, it's something that, you know, I've had a lot of bosses in my life um, throughout many jobs. You know, I've been in, gosh, I'm 24. I've been working since I was, got my first official job when I was 15. And I've had a job literally since. I've had a lot of bosses, but I can honestly say I've had very few leaders. So, you know, that's kind of a philosophy of mine where I think it is so important to be a leader out there. So if you are a supervisor of somebody, whether you're just like a shift lead, I've been that before. <laughs> um, I've done plenty of customer service jobs. If you've been here for a while, you know, you know, I used to work in jewelry. I was a waitress for a long time. Uh, did a, I, I did a lot of crazy jobs and you know, I was in college. I was a resident assistant at the, at the university I attended. Like I've done lots of different fields and I think you're a supervisor, you're a manager, you're a boss to somebody, be a leader. Don't be a boss. You know, that doesn't mean you can't tell somebody what to do because that's part of being a manager. But I also think also guide your employees in the right direction rather than just being like, do this, do this, you know, and you're going to have those times where you're going to need to be yelling orders, but be a leader. That's all I can say. And I can honestly say the bo my bosses are leaders. And I think that's what makes my work environment so fantastic. So um, I'm going to go into the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. So I just decided to like zoom up a little bit, but yeah, I... I'm feeling a lot better. You guys know last week I was I was filming and you know I was recovering from COVID. Um, still having breathing problems. I'm still not breathing like normal, but I am getting better. I can feel improvement in my lungs every day, and I'm so thankful. So, um, yeah, that is just like my tidbit, like my two cents <laughs> on my management philosophy. <laughs> Random doesn't have anything to do with makeup, but. Um, I wanted to kind of segue into, you know, Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day. Um, I've loved it since I was a little kid. Like, I used to, like, really look forward to it when I was really little because I loved pink. <laughs> and I still do. I love pink. I loved hearts. And I loved the idea of, like, you know, the Valentine's Day and putting them in your little boxes for the kids. For each other like in elementary school that was my thing i loved that growing up i distinctively remember this is very crazy but i distinctly remember kindergarten now i was in kindergarten in 2002 if that says anything but that was 20 years ago oh my god <laughs> holy crap that's a long time ago but i distinctly remember making your little valentine's day were they mailboxes were they just boxes i don't know but I remember doing purple because I thought I was being out of the box and being super creative. I think there, there's a picture of me somewhere, I think my mom probably has it, where I am smiling with it in my classroom because my mom used to help out in the classroom sometimes growing up and um, there's a picture of me and I just thought it was the coolest thing ever because everybody else was doing red and pink and white and I was like, purple, because I'm creative. Yeah, so crazy that, you know, I remember that, but I've always just really liked Valentine's Day. Honestly, love yourself. You don't need a significant other to love you this Valentine's Day. You can love yourself, and I think that's all that matters. Um, I love Valentine's Day candy. <laughs> always have. I'm off, I've always been like a super... I've always had a really super sweet tooth, but I just really like Valentine's Day. And honestly, this Valentine's Day, I'm not really doing anything with my husband. I don't really think we're going to go out and do anything. But I do know that every year since we've been together, I have really enjoyed 
getting a heart-shaped pizza from like Pizza Hut or I don't remember who does it. <laughs> I always get an email about it, but it's either Pizza Hut or Domino's and I just always really like it. So we're gonna go in with some beautiful kind of lighter pink eyeshadows but I'm gonna do a rosy lip first. So we're gonna go in with the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fatty, which is like this rosy pink. It's so beautiful. So it's gonna be a little bit darker. And I wanted to do something a little bit out of the box rather than like just red, because I think red is kind of like a typical one. So rosy pink is like where it's at for me. Okay, does anyone else see these like crazy like overline your lips videos on TikTok. Like <laughs> I see it and I'm like, how in the world does that look natural? I still don't understand it. Like you like it and then you line your lips and it's supposed to look natural. I've never tried it. I don't really try a lot of TikTok makeup trends to be quite honest with you. I just think it's weird. Oh my God, I didn't apply concealer sitting right here. I was gonna use Tarte Shape Tape. I guess we're not going to. My under eyes don't look really bad. Okay, I'm gonna go in with lip gloss. I'm gonna use the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tear in the Sioux. Okay, I guess a skin tint and a foundation were enough. I don't know, I, I just got talking and then I lost track of where I was at. There we go. This lip gloss, you know, gives you the shine. It doesn't have any sparkle to it, which I'm totally okay with because we're gonna put some sparkle on the eyes. We are going into eyes and I thought well you saw yesterday's video I have yet to film it but <laughs> you saw yesterday's video I talk about my favorite Valentine's Day palettes this is one of them I feel like this is just like perfect Valentine's Day like material girl aesthetic you know that TikTok sounds like material girl like my husband um, has students ask and they're like hey you know mister I'm not saying her last name but he's like they're mister mister so-and-so are you a are you a material girl and he's like does that even mean? And he asked me and I'm like, material girl. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna go into the shade happiness right here. Yes, I would consider myself a material girl because I like to shop and spend a lot of money. So <laughs> in my head, like walking through Target, I can just hear material girl, like as I'm like getting my card at Target every Saturday. Guys, you know, I love Target. I love their home stuff. Like, I love everything about Target. Target just makes me feel better. I don't have COVID, sitting at home all day, I'm like, I just wanna go to Target. So it's a home all week, you know, and um, I couldn't go to Target, obviously, but tomorrow I'm going to Target and I cannot wait. So I'm just kind of applying this in the crease. This is a little bit brighter than I anticipated. I don't wanna go too deep in terms of the color, so I'm gonna go into the Too Faced Too Femme palette. I did a review on this. I'm gonna link it down below for you. Mm, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go into the shade Serenity next, which is more of like a mauve toned color. Absolutely beautiful. But we are just going to kind of like tone the pink down a little bit and kind of go more, a little bit more mauve on the outer part. Like I said, we are not doing too much. I need a different brush. That just like did not do it for me. There we go. That's better. I'm curious to know when I'm editing, editing this, if you guys can hear my candle crackling in the background. I love wood wicks so much. Wood wick candles are seriously so cool. But there is this candle from Target that I absolutely love. I think it's honey, almond, and oat milk. It's part of the like spring candle selection. It is so good. It makes me happy. And you know what? I love candles. Like if I could just like spend all of my money on candles, I totally would. But I have bills to pay. So I'm gonna go into the shade Serenity, right? Serenity, yep, once again. And we are going to kind of um, hit the lower lash line. Just on my brush here. Just like this. Add kind of like a smoky lower lash line, just a little bit. Next, we're gonna go into the Too Femme palette by Too Faced. I did a dedicated review on this a couple weeks back and I'm going to link it down below for you. It is so beautiful. It really truly is. So, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this shade right here. This is the shade Hearts of Flutter. And I'm going to just highlight my brow bone with this. Then we're gonna add something sparkly on the lid because this, 
look needs it. So I'm going to go into this beautiful shade right here. And this is the shade Think Pink. The shade names are on the back, so it's kind of difficult for me to like always um, like know what shade it is. But look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So I'm just going to kind of pop this right on the lid. I am definitely getting some glitter fallout. It's fine. Now, I used this in a video a couple weeks back, and this is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Shimmery, no, Shimmer Top Coat. Um, I want to try it again, just to kind of hit it on the lid. This is in the shade Glassy. It's a beautiful pink, and I just want to try it again, because, like, I wasn't, like, too fond of it. I didn't know, but let's just, oh, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Just like a nice little extra glitter on the lid. Like a little shimmer glitter without being like, you know, actual pressed glitter on your eyes. This was what I was looking for. So I'm just gonna like, gosh, I love it. So I'm going to do liner and lashes. For liner, I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics Liquid Liner. And then I'm gonna layer mascara. So we're gonna use the Tarte Big Ego Mascara and then the BH Cosmetics Stellar Lash. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back and we will go ahead and close out the video. intended on doing a little bit of a different look so I'm going to add a little bit of this lip gloss over the top to kind of lighten it up this is the vanilla cream pie butter gloss from NYX I bought a whole vault over the holiday season and I absolutely love it that's not gonna work okay what about this this is the matte liquid lipstick from NYX in the shade pushed up it's kind of more like purpley pink mm. Mm. Okay, that did something. I have so much lip product on right now. I officially have so much product on my lips right now. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoy. I really hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell. It helps my channel out so much. And yeah, that is it. I keep looking in the mirror because I'm like, girl, you have so much lip product on. Mm. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. I am avidly taking video requests. So I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.